We could have an asteroid tsunami. Why a 40,000 mile an hour Atlantic bound asteroid could wreak havoc affecting millions of people. We've been warned that we should be prepared. We should prepare for protecting Earth against impacts. We've had numbers, uh, hundreds, I would think, confirmed 120 worldwide asteroid impacts. And uh, even uh, one that uh, took place 66 million years ago, supposedly causing the dinosaur extinction in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. And we know that they don't come in singularly, they come in in groups, either binary or in groups, as we see here. And they come in from the asteroid belt. Even though we've had interstellar comets coming at us lately, and from what the, uh, the astronomers have told us, we are to expect more because there is some kind of a planetary system not far from the edge of our solar system that seems to be spewing interstellar objects from there into us. And we have the second one in two years, the Borisov interstellar comet. We can see it now with our amateur telescopes. It's between Earth and Mars. And uh, from what we know, we still don't have any way of protecting Earth from these things if they are to be coming at us. Callum Hoare of Express UK reports, scientists are warning that an asteroid striking the Atlantic Ocean could wreak havoc, sending huge waves of water devastating the surrounding coastal communities, affecting millions of people. This is in a book focusing on one of the biggest threats in the cosmos. Asteroids, as we know, are the small rocky bodies in the inner solar system orbiting our star. And there are millions of them flying around space, and they're finding more of them every year. Now, these are known as impact events, flying around in space and their collisions with each other. They impact with each other, and they also come off splitting into us. Now, have, they have played a significant role in shaping many planets, as we know, Mars, uh, our moon and us. NASA is constantly watching, tracking these asteroids, categorizing them as near-Earth objects and EOs and as potentially hazardous objects, PHOs, if they could pose a threat to life on Earth. Now, Natalie, Dr. Natalie Starkey, an astronomer, put forward a new theory in her book titled Catching Stardust. And she had a theory that would ha what would happen if a huge space rock smashed into one of the vast areas of open water. And she warned readers, if we fail in the future to protect the planet from space threats, then we could expect a large asteroid or comet impact to wreak havoc on Earth, on Earth's surface, resulting in major global changing and high death tolls. It would not just be humans that would be affected, of course, but many other Earth species as well. The comet or asteroid impacting one of Earth's oceans would result in huge tsunamis that could utterly devastate surrounding coastal regions. And she goes on to explain, it's anyone's guess, how many millions of people would be directly or indirectly affected by a tsunami radiating out from an impact location in the middle of the Atlantic or the Pacific Ocean. If we just imagine the ripples radiating out from a pebble being thrown onto a pond, with nothing to get in their way, the ripples would travel as far as the pond's edge. And Dr. Starkey, who is a cosmochemist by trade, went on to put the idea into perspective with a shocking proposal. She says, although they would not be expected to demolish the pond's edge, depending on the size of the pebble and the force with which it enters the pond, we could expect water to flood out over the edges once the ripples reach that far. Now let's imagine scaling up a huge chunk of asteroid, possibly a few kilometers in diameter, traveling at uh, unimaginable speeds, up to 40,000 miles an hour into one of our oceans. The effect is the same, but the edges of the pond are now large cities inhabited by millions of people, and the dense infrastructure that certainly could not cope with being inundated by massive walls of water. 
A large comet or asteroid strike on land would not be much better, swapping water ripples for ground waves and resulting in huge shock waves that would easily flatten buildings at the same time as ripping up and melting the ground around the impact location. Now, asteroid Bennu, formula, formerly known as 1999RQ36, is a potentially hazardous object listed on the Sentry table with the second highest cumulative rating in the Palermo Technical Impact Hazard. Investigators have already warned the space agency that it could be devastating if they do not act. And according to a study by scientist Maria Eugenia San Sansatorio, the 1999 asteroid Bennu may impact the Earth. Dr. Sansatorio warned in a report for the Solar System Journal, Icarus, that there is a good chance of the asteroid striking, that is, having an Earth impact. She told Universe Today in 2010, the total impact probability of asteroid Bennu can be estimated at 0 0.0092, approximately 1 in a 1,000 chance. But what is most surprising is that over half of this chance corresponds to 2,182. Now, NASA has a less destructive move for Bennu. The space agency currently running a mission with the Osiris-Rex spacecraft to find out more about the rock. The spacecraft spent two years chasing Bennu down. As we know, it's going very fast. The spacecraft has to go just as fast before orbiting it for another two years, taking samples. Then, in 2023, we'll blast back to Earth to allow scientists from around the world to study these samples. The mission team is particularly interested in learning the role that asteroids like Bennu, dark primitive, apparently carbon-rich, some call it a, a small uh, asteroid, a small planet, mini planet, may have played in creating life on Earth. And it also helps scientists refine the odds of a strike on Earth. And we also know it's not just uh, the tsunami effects on the coast, it's also the impact on the, the waves causing, as we saw in the uh, video before this one, earthquakes. Earthquakes are caused by powerful storm quakes from extreme weather. The pounding of the waves on the ocean floor cause a rippling effect on land. It's a newly discovered theory. It's called storm quakes, caused by storms over the ocean wreaking havoc on continental crusts. This was uh, just recently found from Florida State University analyzing more than a decade's worth of seismic and oceanic records and found that all along the East Coast we've had, because of these huge ocean storms, earthquakes as well, even up to the Northeast of 3.5 magnitude. So you can imagine what would happen if an asteroid hit the ocean. It's not just a tsunami, it's also the force of the impact causing the uh, tectonic uh, wave as well. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition 
and the community around our church. Thank you.